Okay, he's going in. Oh, there's so many people. No picture taken allowed in here. Sorry? Put those cameras down. You're not allowed to take any pictures in the post office. I'm not taking pictures. <laughs> you don't care about the rules cameras. of the post get office? Get those cameras now. Sir, just calm get down and I'll talk to you now. when I get up to the front. You do you see what you just created? No, you didn't create anything. You guys created <laughs> We got a good one today, guys. We got a video today of somebody that is defending our rights to the Constitution. A lot of applause. Woo! America. It's real great. Real great. I love it. This is good stuff here. And I gotta say, I I give the guy and his son. He's with his son. I give him and his son a lot of credit. What you're about to witness is what we call a lot of balls, all right? Big kahunas. He may not have hair, but he's packing. So, okay. Mm, just love grape. Just makes me feel great. Today, we're gonna watch a channel called Amagansant Press. Amagansant Press, I've watched over the years, is what you would call He's not a sovereign citizen, but he is, as he would put it, defends the Constitution. It is a father and son, and they go across the country, and they visit places like public places, government buildings, government-owned facilities, things like that. And they basically do kind of like a wellness check, right? Making sure everything's up to par, making sure the right posters are on the wall, making sure, you know, people are doing their job, making sure the emergency exits are down. I get a huge rush out of this type of stuff because the thing that Amagensant does that you're going to notice is he doesn't ever tell people what he's doing, especially... If they get angry with him, he's just, he acts as though I'm, I'm just here. Why are you angry? While holding a giant DSLR camera in front of the person's face. Now, I will say his newer videos, I'm pretty sure that he uses a GoPro now. But he, back in the day, hmm. and let me tell you something. When you have a DSLR on a stick, right? Like you're at the, the fair with a corn dog, people don't like it. Especially at government buildings. Because when you think about government buildings, what do you think of? The DMV, the post office, you know, a, a courthouse. I mean, those, these are the kind of buildings that these guys go into where nobody is in a good mood. I mean, do you, the last time you went to the DMV, I mean, who is chipper? Who wants to be there? Nobody. That's the answer, right? Now you know. And the thing is, is he makes it worse by not telling them what he's doing. What he likes to do is when there's a Karen, you know, somebody that's just not having it with the camera. He loves when the police are called because the thing about Amagensen that I've noticed is he, he loves to teach. He loves to learn you something, if you know what I mean. We're going to watch some amazing footage here. Now, again, this is from Amagensen Press. His son also has a channel called Watching the Watchmen. Go give him some love. Go uh, subscribe to their channel. Check out their other content. As always, I have the original video linked in the description if you guys want to go. Watch that on your own time without me here yapping. It's a remarkable uh, experience to go with them on this. So sit back and relax and let us sit shotgun as our friends at M Against It Press make sure that uh, all of the laws are being enforced and all the rules are being in place. Oh, by the way, if you like, comment, or subscribe, then do those things. I didn't say that right. How's it going, guys? How's it going? M Against It Press coming to you today from we are at the u.s post office here in silverthorne and uh, we're gonna go inside have a look around and uh, find out if these folks honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible places i'm out with watching the watchman today yeah that's his son i think we're ready to go inside and take a look here we go post office box area yeah he like shows you around and it's always interesting to see like the first reactions with people and how they interact with him. It's, yeah. Here we have our poster seven. There's poster seven. I forgot to tell you guys, so there's poster seven. I don't know if you know. Poster seven in a post office basically gives anybody the right to film in a post office. It uh, strictly allows people to video and photography in the facility. A, a lot of people just don't, know that and don't like that even if they did know that so it's always fun to to see how it turns out i think you're all familiar with that sure am okay he's going in oh there's so many people no picture taken allowed in here 
Sorry? Put those cameras down. You're not allowed to take any pictures in the post office. I'm not taking pictures. <laughs> okay. Well, aim them the other way or something. He would say that. Have you ever read your poster seven? I don't care. You don't care about the rules of the post office? those cameras now. Sir, just calm down and I'll talk to you when I get up to the front. Do you see what you just created? No, he didn't create anything. You guys created it, so I bring in the cameras. Nobody said a word until he decided to start. Hey, I was waiting for him because he's got the authority here, so please. Dude, the way he just answered him, oh, I'm not taking pictures. It's crazy because I really feel like if the postmaster, not that he was in the wrong, for, he didn't seem like he cared about poster seven, first of all, but I would have thought that the postmaster would not have acted like that because kind of like that guy said, he was like, oh, I was waiting for him to say something. They're, they're all looking to the postmaster at, for, as like the authority, right? So they all notice Sam McGinson come in with his big ass DSLR, right? Just, hey, I, I, everything's normal. They're all waiting to see, okay, what's the postmaster going to do? And so, you know, immediately he's just like, Get them cameras out of here. If the postmaster would have reacted a lot calmer and in a lot more way that was not as like, whoa, this is crazy. Because he, you know, he's saying he obviously doesn't know that they can film and video in the post office and he should know that as a postmaster. So it's just going to rile everybody else up. I'm not trying to say that the guy's in the wrong. Like I said, I mean, yeah, he should know the rules, but poster seven, the guy probably never read it, whatever. Leave now. Listen, stop yelling. Leave. No, I'm not Leave leaving. With those I need to buy a stamp. I'm not leaving. Hey, Liam, call the cops. There you go. Buy a stamp. I just want my package. Dude. You're out of here. Please, just, like, you guys are out of here. Out. Okay. Like, you're causing all this for everyone now by not turning the I'm just traveling through Silverthorne with my son documenting yep. a trip. And you're out of here. Okay. You are out We'll see about that here. when the cops get here. Out of the post office. Yeah, and that's another thing I forgot to tell you guys. He always, any time he goes to a post office, he has to buy a stamp. You know, so he's got to film the whole interaction. So you're bound to get somebody that's going to, like, lose their mind. You know, and like I said, to his credit, he I think he does use a GoPro now. Um, So, you know, kudos to him. But, you know, coming in there with a big DSLR, you know, a Canon 7D. I mean, bro. And if you think about it, too, they're at the post office, right? Like, they're just living their lives. Hit the road. <laughs> I'll speak to the police when Hit they get the here, sir. Okay. I'm sorry you're so upset with your life. We're not upset with our Hit the road. Hit the road. I wasn't speaking to you, man. Hey, this, no. Thank you, you need yeah, to get thank out. You. I'm sorry. It is a federal Ow. law. Would you come Who are you? <laughs> what? It is not a federal law. Have you ever read your poster seven? Would you like to go we look at it together? We think about the rules. We you know the rules. You don't care about the rules? Get out. Let's go take a look at you poster cannot, seven. You, cannot, you want to take a look at the rules? Postal employee. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. All right, well, then I'll stay here. Provided that there is no disruption to postal service operations, which you have now created. No, I didn't oh. create any disruptions. You guys are... Okay. I think you've been living up in the mountains too long, my man. Oh, dude, I don't even live here. Well, then... I think you would. <laughs> living up in the mountains too long? What the fuck? Dude, I don't even live here. Well, then stop talking to me. See, I like this guy. He's like just thinking, guy. taking it all in. Maybe that's what you should How about do. This? I'm gonna film that. <laughs> sure. Yeah, do you want to do it again? Giving him the finger. And at this point, I'll ask everyone to stop speaking to me. Dude, like the amount of, of just negative energy coming at you. Oh my God, dude. I'd have a freaking aneurysm, dude. I'd be on the floor just like screaming. That shit affects you, you know? If you're standing in front of a bunch of strangers at a post office and you're filming them and they're all mad, oh my God. You realize the post office is filming Stay you tuned, right over the cops are on the way. Did they ask your permission? It's gotta let you know. They're Didn't coming. I think so. Stay tuned. Hey guys, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing today? Good, good. Oh, cops are there. The cameras. Come on, sir. Sort of hey, you wanna go out here so we can talk yeah. and we don't disturb all these folks? That would be awesome. Yeah, good. Oh, it's about to go down. Post office employees are saying they don't permit filming. Right, so let's, there's something called Poster 7, okay, which is the rules and regulations of the post office con governing conduct on postal property. There is a section for photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes, which allows us to take photographs inside of the post office as long as we are not in a restricted area. Well, they've asked you to turn the cameras off. And it's but that's not the law. That's, that's just their feelings and their requests. So I'm going to respectfully deny that request and go by federal law. And I just want to make you aware, I'm going to advise the three of you right now that if you make me leave this post office, you're violating my constitutional rights and you're also violating the law. Okay. Damn, dude, he just lays it down right off the bat. Right off the bat. You guys, if you make me leave, you're, gonna, you're violating my rights. So 
You bet. No. Every situation that you do this, you're, you're at risk of getting arrested or you're going to jail. Not fun. I don't, I don't think that would be, no. And I will very adamantly pursue that. And I have a very huge network of defense attorneys and people behind me. So I just want to make you aware of that before that happens. That's your right. That's fine. Okay. Do you have your IDs on you? What would you need ID for? Do you suspect me of committing a crime or having committed a crime? You're trespassing, or? Sir. I'm not trespassing. Have you read the law on the wall? I would you like to at least, can we look at that first? I like, what's written on the, on the you wall. You don't, you didn't even read it. Does anybody want to take a look at the rules? And, you have the federal law right there. Oh, he's reading it. I'm working on a story and it will be disseminated. I will not identify myself. I would request a sergeant then if that's the case. And I I'll am be, a sergeant. You're a sergeant? She's a yeah. sergeant. Have you read the rules and regulations of the post office that authorize you know me to take video inside this building? You're yeah. violating my rights. How am I violating your rights? By asking me to leave somewhere I have every legal right to be. I've done this thousands what of times, ma'am. You have no idea who you're speaking with. What I'm more educated with? on the law than you are what when it comes to this picture. This is what I do. And ma'am, I'm not, I'm sorry, is it Sergeant Dunaway? Yeah. I'm really, let's start all over again and let's just be calm and cordial. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. As long as you acknowledge that I have a legal right to be here and I have a constitutionally protected right to be here, I will in great detail tell you exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't want to hear If that. you're going to violate my rights, then I'm going to plead the oh fifth and I'm not going to, all right, well then I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing here. Dude, he literally was like, hey, let's start over. Let's kind of backtrack, right? Let's kind of not, you know, I don't like this path we're going down. She just slapped it right out of his hand. That. And she's a sergeant. She's a sergeant. Jesus, that's a, you're up there in the ranks. You're not just a rookie. You know, hey, uh, new man on the job. I'm a rookie, you know, like, bro, you're a sergeant. And you're a law enforcement officer. You're not a feelings you know enforcement what? officer. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear you anymore. <laughs> okay. Why, you don't like the truth? Oh my no, God. just be quiet. You can't tell me to be quiet. I have, I could say whatever I want to say. Dude, it was literally because he was telling the truth. He was speaking the, the freaking gospel, bruh. And she just, you know what? Can you just stop? All, all he's asking is just, hey, can you contact somebody higher up? I mean, she is a sergeant, though. The way she's acted so far has been a little bit... I mean, that wasn't cool to just kind of poo-poo him like that, you know? But again, this gets into a bigger issue about ego and police. When you're a police officer, let's just let's just understand, right? Being a police officer is a crazy f***ing job, okay? It's a crazy job. And, you know, any time, if, if you really think about it, every single time the police show up, it's bad. It's bad news. It's never, there's never a good reason for the police to show up. So it's just every day. Every shift is just misery and, you know, violence. It's crazy. It's an insane job. So you don't need the ego to go along with that. Because if you have this ego and you're a police officer, you're going to start to think you know everything. And then you're going to violate the law. You can have some ego. Some ego is good with, with, with policing because, you know, when you go into a situation, you don't know people, right? You're carrying all these weapons on you. You don't know what other people have. You want to have some type of a presence and an ego. But when it comes to situations like this where it's non-threatening, I mean, it's a camera. It's not going to hurt anybody. You shouldn't be asking acting so dismissive and it's just snooty because she's wrong and the the answer is right there on the wall now if you if you remember he originally said trespass will trespass you I believe to trespass somebody, you need a trespass order, and to have a trespass order, there, there needs to be a crime committed, I believe. And you could say the disturbance thing, but the thing about the disturbance is that he didn't cause the disturbance because he's allowed to have a camera, and the camera can't be the cause of the disturbance if it's legal, I think. I might be wrong on that. Let me know if you're a lawyer in the comments. The purpose of why I'm here is to expose this. Okay. Okay? So, be care just be careful how you proceed. That's, That's all. Fine. Oh, here they come. Okay, so I talked to the, um, one of the employees here. Okay. They're willing to work with you if you leave their con your contact information here. Here's but, the thing. But they don't you want cannot you. film on postal property. And sure you can. No, you're absolutely mistaken. You're, sir, but with all want, due, with all due respect, right I promise you what you said in that statement was absolutely 100% wrong. Okay. I don't understand. He read it. He read poster 7. I don't understand. Why is he acting like, you know, oh, it's up to the post? He literally was like, oh, it's up to the postmaster to decide. Like, okay, bro, it didn't you read the poster seven? It says, you know, if you're part of the media, you can film in a post office. There we know that, especially in the state of Colorado. It's a one-party report. Anywhere. Go talk to him. Yeah, thanks. 
<laughs> I tend to <laughs> leave my private them. affairs. I don't need you to keep talking to this guy. Let's see what the sergeant has to say. Deal. Okay. We're trespassing you on behalf of. You're going to trespass me? I want you to speak to your lieutenant before you do that because okay. I'm, I'm going to file a lawsuit against you if you trespass me, I That's promise fine. you. If you're telling me you're trespassing me, I will follow any they lawful order you give me. They don't okay? want you on their property. That's not their decision to make. And you don't understand That's that. I want to be formally trespassed if that's what you're doing. Otherwise, I'm not leaving. Damn. You can formally okay. trespass me or leave me alone. That's your options. If you're going to formally trespass me, I will walk out the door immediately. Uh, I don't know their laws. I know you don't. Federal. I know you don't know oh. their laws, man. Believe me, you've proven that in the last five minutes. Wow, dude, just right in the gut there. Right? Oh, my God. I know you don't. I know you don't know the fucking laws. It's because you haven't followed them because I just, I've been trying to show you. They're on the wall. I'm going to say this one more time, and then I'm going to walk past you, and I'm going to go buy my stamp. If you are going to formally trespass me legally from this property, I will leave immediately. If you're not, I'm going to go buy my stamp. Does that make sense? It's my business card. You can sue me. Okay. Oh. I'm not going to sue you unless you formally trespass me. I'm like, they're asking I'm respectfully declining unless I'm being formally trespassed. You can't film it. Am I free to go? Am I, ma'am, am I free to go? do not want you back Am I free to leave? Oh my God, he looked at the sergeant like, hey, can, what? Dude. Am I free to leave? The building, yes. I'm asking, am I free to leave? The building, yes. So if I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. building. So I'm going to go buy my stamp. I am not refusing to leave. I will walk out the door immediately and never come back if I am formally trespassed. Look at his son. His son is just like, yeah, we're just, we're doing this right now. We're doing this with dad. Bro, I love Emma Genson so much. This is fucking amazing. Thank you for bringing this into the world, Emma Genson. So what do we do? Go ahead. They're not going to serve you. Okay. I'll wait in line and see, and then they can, they can deny service. She's not done yet. Here it comes. What? <laughs> It's not a no I'll, win. I'll give you my the way, you know what? You know what? You're formally trespassed. Oh, she's I want it. I want it in writing. We'll, we'll Just write it down. You're gonna give it to me in writing? We'll write it down. Look at Dude. All right. She literally was like, "Go on ahead. They're not gonna serve you." And then he literally was like, "But yeah, okay." And then not even ten seconds later, she's just like, "You know what? You're you're formally trespassed. Get." Get out of here. This is what I'm talking about with the ego, man. You can't have a big ego when you're a cop. It doesn't, they don't go together. I want it, I want it in writing. We'll, we'll write it. I want it in it writing. writing. We'll write it down. Okay. Sure. Bro wants right. it in that's writing what you're doing. right now. I'm giving you three minutes to start the paperwork and I'm coming back in. <laughs> Yo, what a gangster. And the time starts now. Because what you're doing, you're violating my rights so and you're inconveniencing me. I do need your ID. If I'm gonna I do it need your ID. You don't need my ID. Yes, I do. I'll I'll get, no, are. I'll give you my name. I do need those things. You, oh no, you my don't. God, he's so unsure. Like, I almost feel bad for that cop, man. He, you know, because you know he's trying to do the right thing. I need your, I need your ID. Oh, I need your name and date of birth. Can you give me that? Can you give me just... And he almost, he almost said it to him against it like a question. I do need those things. Right? His stance, he's just like, hey, you can go ahead. You can go ahead first, sir. I have the sunglasses on. You need to go first. I know how the system works better than you do. You're getting an education from me today. Damn. We have 12 minutes for me to buy my stamp. So you either trespass me in writing now or I'm going back in. That's it. Let's stop playing games. He's a fucking gangster, man. He just, yo, we stop playing games. Give me the trespass order. I'm going in there. I'm buying my stamp. Dude, they did, they did get him to leave, though. So uh, I do wonder if they're going to show a trespass order. You trespassed. So you're not going to write me a formal trespass? I need your name. You just lied to me inside. I'm not lying to you. I'm going to go back in. No, you're not. No, you're, you're not, dude. Well, then trespass me. You are trespassed. That's not a trespass. I want a lieutenant. I want a higher up here. Oh, damn. She is the higher up. I'm going to call non call 911. <laughs> and tell them that my rights are being violated. Call 911. My rights are being what? My rights are being violated. Call 911. Bro, honestly, I'm not going to lie. If they don't provide a trespass order, I they may have violated his rights cuz I mean, I don't know, unless they can prove he caused the disturbance inside the post office, I I don't even know if that was a law. We'll get the sheriff down here and they'll straighten you out. You guys have no idea what you're talking about, and I'd like a business card from you as well. That's <laughs> state law in case you don't know, so you can give me your business card. I have mine in the car. Well, go grab one. Okay. You have to give it to me upon demand immediately, so go grab the card. You guys just opened up a not shit can on your side. No, you have to give me a business card. That's not true. State law says you have to give me your business card. Go grab it. Oh, you guys just opened up a can of shit on yourselves. You really did. Bro is a gangster. Oh my God. What is this footage? Bro, these police officers are not doing quite a good job, I gotta say. And the, the smirk on the one guy, what is going on? It's just crazy that he was just like, I, I want your business card. And he's like, oh, it's in the car. Like as if I'll get it in a minute. And then... 
you know, him against it, just like rolls up the sleeves. Like, you guys just open up a shit can of worms right here. I'm going to sue. And then he's just, you know, I'm going to go get that card. It's going to cost you your career, man. You have no idea what you just did. Oh, You're going to pay for this personally. No, it's not fine. There you go, sir. That's your ego talking. Yep, exactly. What did I say? Ego. Exactly. That's why. Ego and police don't mix. They don't mix. This officer right here, this sergeant, has huge ego. She cannot handle the fact that this man is literally pulling out all of the stops here with the uh, the rights in the back pocket, you know what I'm saying? At every turn is just ba-boom, ba-boom, and you're smirk. Get your business card. Oh yeah, you're gonna go get it. Hey, call lieutenant. This is nuts, dude. This is so cool. You didn't trespass me. You think you did. What you did was bully me out the door. Let's be real about what you just did. You don't know the law. You don't that's know what fine. you're doing. That's fine. And you're setting a horrible example for your that, charges that's here. Fine. Yeah, you know, it, it really did seem like the, the, they kind of just bullied him out. If they're not going to produce the, tr what is it, the trespass order? If they don't produce that, then, I mean, how, you kind of, you, you might have violated the guy's right. I'm not going anywhere. I'm waiting for a sheriff. <laughs> waiting for a sheriff. Request a sheriff for me then. Go ahead. No, give me that sheriff. The sheriff will come here and tell you how wrong you are. Sheriff on tap. And now you've prevented me from buying my stamp because I only have however many minutes left. Now I can't. So you're just digging yourself deeper. And if you had a half a brain in your head, you'd go make a phone call and verify what I'm telling you. I'm not here to jerk off and I'm not here to play games with you. I'm not here to jerk off. Why don't you go sit in your car and check the law? Bro. Why don't you go check the law? Why don't you make some phone calls and really talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about? Yeah, he you just read it. attorney available today? He read your post your seven. Tell you instantly what I'm telling you. The sheriff's going to show up and tell you you're wrong. Where'd this sergeant go? Where like vanished egos and a stamp that's what the title of this video should be yeah i i get the feeling that these cops especially the guy on the right there he i think he knows the guy on the left i'm not sure if he knows i'm not sure about him but you know the guy on the right i feel like he knows that they may have overstepped their boundaries here as a police officer especially they weren't there for the initial thing but that's the problem they don't know how this all started so they're obviously just going to take the word of all these other people because there's more people Right, there's more of them than uh, Emma Getson and his son. But it's like if you review the footage, you're gonna see that they just literally walked in and everybody erupted. He's a nice guy. He's sitting there and he's wondering if I'm right. He's not sure. Your smirk just celebrates your ignorance. It doesn't do you any good. What I do know is that the post office employees don't want you in there. That's not their choice. The camera part, you know. The only way you can trespass somebody from public property is if they create a disturbance or violate the law. They claim that you threatened an employee. They claimed I threatened an employee? That's what the lady really? Means. Really? Which, who told you that? So now somebody just filed a false police report. Which employee was this? The female with the short hair said that I threatened her? Didn't, she did, didn't say you threatened her. That's what you she just said. said. An employee. I threatened an employee. That's what she told me. <sighs> I bet you guys are wishing you could like just leave, come back and start this all over again at this point. They do kind of look like that. Your skills at de-escalation and handling this situation and setting an example for these two young gentlemen should be far superior to what they are. He's totally right about that, but why is that cop on the left standing like that with his hips? Why? It's almost like an ego stance. Can you get no, stamps a fact. the grocery store? I don't know. That's a good question. I think you can. Maybe. You can. It'd just be easier, man. But, but I told you what my point is. I do this deliberately. If somebody feels like they don't want to be on camera, it's not your job to enforce that. Ma'am, did you tell somebody that I threatened an employee? You were threatening to sue. Threatening to sue? Correct. And telling, and telling you I did not want to. That's not a threat. That's not the same oh, thing. Yeah, that's different. So do you different. see how words can get misconstrued? Real quick. Okay, so about the grocery store thing. It's so crazy the cop saying that because I think if he went into a grocery store and did this same thing, the grocery store could kick him out because the grocery store is a privately owned business. It wasn't stamps about the stamp. not the issue. So stamp's not the issue. So the issue is my constitutional rights. Slow it down, though? I'm here slow defending it down. your rights. You, you, you talked about educating, right? Yes. If there is something in there, I, I'm not, I don't work at the post office. I okay. don't know every rule that goes on there. But I do. It doesn't, but I'd like to learn. How are you, sir? Are you a sheriff? Yes, sir. How are you, sir? My name's Jason. Sergeant Piper. So, Sergeant Piper, the reason I requested your presence here today is to just educate these folks and let them know that I am not violating a law and I am not violating a rule by photographing or taking pictures on post office property. That wasn't the reason that you were trespassed. Sure it is. What was the reason I was trespassed? That the lady told me that you were threatening their employee. No. 
Did you hear what she just said? She just came out and said that what she meant was I was threatening to sue. That's not what she told That's what she just said right in front of you on camera. You both heard it. Ma'am, I'm done speaking to you. I'm going to speak to the sheriff. If you remember, he, she was going to let him stand in line, and then the minute he basically over you know, overstepped his boundaries with her. She just got pissed and she's just like, you know what? You know what? Go. You're formally trespassed. And it had nothing to do with what the employee said. Damn. Goddamn. I'm sorry. What was your name, sir? I didn't give it. <laughs> You're a constitutional police officer, correct? Yep. Sheriff. So it's your obligation oh, to uphold the Constitution of the United States, correct? Right. Then okay. I'm going to tell you that it's their jurisdiction. Is it's that, not their jurisdiction. This is the jurisdiction of federal police. This is federal property. This is not their jurisdiction. I don't believe they're violating your rights. Sir. Okay, so I need a business card from you. You got it. Oh, my God. You'll be named on the lawsuit as well. You and I were having a very intelligent conversation. I told you I'd answer your questions. So do you have any further questions yeah, for me? Yeah, he seems level-headed. I mean, I'm going to look into it on my own for sure. Give me your phone number or something. No. I can call you at a later time. We can talk about what? it. What? But they don't want you in the building today. Yeah, but that's not their choice. Can I have your, uh, can I get your phone number? We could maybe hook up sometime and you could teach me the law. Yeah, we could mm -hmm. give you some legislation. I gotta say, I commend the cop for wanting to learn because that's a sign he's not gonna turn out to be some shitty cop. What you're telling me is when they asked you not to film the employees, she said that it escalated and then you threatened an employee. That is not true. And that's when they said for you to And I was told to leave because somebody didn't feel like having me there today. That's not the way the law works. What if I walked in with a shirt that said Hard Rock Cafe and one of these ladies don't like the Hard Rock Cafe? Oh, you can't be in here with that t-shirt? You know, I gotta say though, a t-shirt is a little different than bringing a big DSLR camera into the post office, but I understand what he, it's a lawful thing he was doing and he should not have been had the police, you know, the ruckus and then the police called on him. But it's like, dude, okay, the camera's a little different than just a, t you know, a t-shirt. I put myself in harm's way, all in the name of defending the Constitution of the United States. That's what I do, and that's the reason that I do it. Isn't there a better way to get your point of view? If you could tell me a better way, I'd be happy to hear it. I think what I just did today was educate four police officers. Oh, damn! Because you're not going to make the same mistake again. I can guarantee you that. Bro, just dropped the mic. Oh, my God. What a gangster. Goddamn. Holy shit. All right, sir. Have a nice day. Well, I'm having a great day. Okay. All right, you have a nice day. Thank you. Yep, so what'd what? you do? Wait till 12 when they lock the doors? Oh, they're just going to leave? They're just leaving. All right, so we have Silverthorne Police Vehicle 263. We have an unmarked sheriff's vehicle. Now your unmarked sheriff's vehicle will be all over the internet, too. Oh, my God. Silverthorne Police 262. Last but not forgotten. <laughs> From the thumb stop. Dude, they're just leaving. Oh, my God. They just left. Holy shit man they didn't serve him any trespass order they literally waited till the post office closed and then uh just took off wow that was a bully tactic that was a bully tactic is what that was they literally were like we're gonna trespass you you better leave you know he doesn't want to get physical with the police you know nobody does nobody wants to get physical with the police and you want to respect them. And that's the thing, man, you know? As citizens, we want to respect police officers because like I said, it's an insane job. It's crazy. Watch any body cam footage. It's a crazy job. And you want to respect them. You know, with these cops with these egos, you can't have that. It just causes people to get heated, to not follow the law, and to get innocent people in trouble. That's all that does. Silverthorne, okay. Colorado. That was pretty crazy, man. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments about uh, this type of video and these type of guys that do this thing. You know, I'm not saying I fully agree, but I'm not saying I fully disagree. I, I really like, I appreciate caring about our rights and, uh, you know, uh, preaching that and everything and, and obviously teaching even the police because he really, I mean, I got to say, the way he handled the freaking police, oh my God, man, that was impressive. Impressive. Because there was, was like three officers against one dude. I mean, his son is there, but, it, you know, his son goes with him every time. So, yeah, like I said, go over to his channel, give him some love, subscribe, comment, like. Let me know what you think of Emma Genson and his, uh, his wonderful, wonderful beard. Always looking good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. See you in the next one, guys. I'll see you. That's it.